Hello, my name is John Lee and I'm the president of Alpha Training and Consulting. Alpha Training and Consulting is an organization that helps prepare students for ASQ certification exams. We've been doing it for over 20 years. I love ASQ certifications. I pass most of the ASQ certification exams. I've also uh, been certified as Lean Bronze and I'm also a Shingo Award winning author. Uh, but one of my favorite ASQ certifications is the CMQOE. It's a wonderful certification. It will help you get, get promoted at work and it will help you get jobs. Not only that, but it just makes you a more effective professional. So let's go to the ASQ uh, website page and determine what the requirements are for you to take the CMQOE. All right, so here we are at the ASQ website for requirements. It has to do with work experience and an education. Uh, and this has the highest requirement uh, for sitting down to take the exam, the CMQOE does, compared to all the other certifications. What does it demand? Ten years of on-the-job experience in one or more areas of the Certified Manager of Quality Organizational Excellence Body of Knowledge. Now, that must be a full-time full paid role. Okay, Paid interns, co-ops, those don't count. So, full-time, ten years and something that relates to the body of knowledge, which most any job will, to be honest with you. A minimum of five years of this experience must be in a decision-making position, okay? Defined as authority to define, execute, control projects or processes. Well, most of y'all, all of you will control processes if you have a job. So I don't see that as a big hindrance to you. And to be responsible for the outcome. This may or may not include management or supervisory positions. A lot of people think, oh, I have to be a manager for five of those years. That's not true. You just must have control of projects or process. It includes most everyone, to be honest with you. I don't see that as a problem. Now, so if you have uh, no degree, then you have to have 10 years experience. That's quite a bit of experience, isn't it? However, if you have education, if you have a diploma from a technical or trade school, that will waive one year. So if you have a diploma from a technical or trade school, now you have to have nine years experience. Uh, perhaps you have an associate's degree. If you have an associate, worked your way up through an associate's degree, you can waive two years. So eight years experience with your associate's degree. Bachelor's degree, four years waived. So now you're at a six years experience with your bachelor's degree. With the master's or doctorate's degree, you get to waive half of the requirement on time. So now, five years work experience and a master's or doctorate's degree. So pick which one of those are for you and you'll know what your requirement is. Again, a great certification. I hope if you're considering this, you'll jump right into it and make it part of your resume by passing this exam. It's a great learning experience. Congratulations, you have completed this video. Hopefully you've learned something new that will help you with that CMQOE certification. If you have any questions at all concerning the CMQOE, please contact me and I'd be more than happy to talk with you. Thank you and have a great day. Goodbye.